I love it when he doesn't microwave his iced coffee. Here. Enjoy some ASMR iced coffee sounds. That is like the trademark iced coffee sound. Like, I don't think that... You, I mean, it could be an iced tea, but I don't think he would assume it was an iced tea. I think he would assume it was an iced coffee. If you heard that, like, ice on plastic rattling sound, you know? There it is. I think you're asking a lot of me if you expect me to be funny and or entertaining today, as I am melting, um, you know. It's, it's, uh, I don't know what, how hot it is in Canada. I know it's hotter somewhere else. It's always so hotter somewhere else. You know, there's always a bigger fish. I know that UK is almost literally melting. No, that sucks for them. I, my, my condolences, um, out, out there, out there in the wild for the UK. Genuinely, they, uh, it's, they seem like they are suffering. I got banned from the Caves of Cud subreddit for insulting the Caves of Cud Discord mods. Why did you do that, Kevbo? I want- I would like to- I would like the complete context, if I'm being honest. The- the Caves of Cud mods are, uh... They're- they're strict, but th for good reason. They've had to put up with a lot of BS. A lot of BS. So I- I am curious as to how... You insulted them. If it's, listen, if it was a uh, very crack the whip, uh, instinctual ban this person, we don't want to hear it, then then that's, you know, I, I understand. But uh, on the other hand, I, I will I will, I will will bat for the, the Caves of Good Discord mods because I know that they have had to tolerate quite a lot of absolute BS. Um, not that I'm going to come down on you or ban you from my stream or anything like that. That would be awful. Why is this an emote? That is the dabbing emote. Why is that not an emote? Why was that not an emote? Incredibly based. I disagree. Are insanely over controlling. I pointed it out, and one of the mods of the subreddit is a Discord mod and ban, 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 ban me outright. Well, the reason they are over controlling is because. Um, Post the Seth video, basically they got inundated by a lot of really annoying trolls. Uh, and I mean, I say troll very lightly because, you know, there are worse names that I would apply to them. And uh, at a certain point, you know, owning a game does not give you the right to be part of the community. I, you know, that, that's... That is the sentiment of the devs and the Discord, and I share it because at the end of the day, personally, I would rather share space with people who are like-minded and, you know, positive than with people who are not like-minded and, you know, seek instead to harm me uh, mentally <laughs> or physically also, but, you know, uh, less, less possible on the interwebs. Um, this is not me coming down on you, Kevbo. I am merely sharing like my thoughts on the on the discord's policy of being strict and i agree with them that uh, a zero tolerance policy is pretty much what's needed these days if you seek to cut out toxicity and look at that we're what sorry eight minutes in the stream and already it's spicy and political love that love that poggers political yo I did nothing to garner being kicked from the subreddit aside from showing derision to the Discord moderators. Well, that's a very shortcut way to getting like that's that's speedrun strats, Kevbo. That's like an any percent run speedrun strats to getting kicked from a subreddit. No offense. Uh, if you are interested in continuing posting to the subreddit, I, I would consider, uh, you know, contacting the moderator in question and and maybe saying that you didn't mean to uh, insult them, or if you did, then then you uh, apologize. Like, I know that sounds wild, but, you know, but keep in mind that they really have had to, like, go through the wars, 
and uh, so they are probably very trigger uh, happy. And I don't say that as a point of derision. I say that as a point of like, yeah, be trigger happy because it's it, it really is the wild west out there right now. Uh, funny how even tiniest amount of leverage over other people can go into. People. I don't. I don't agree with that. That's not leverage. That's um, trying to create a space that that does not include, um, you know, malice. We're gonna get spicy today. Today is a day of spice for sure. Elemental Ward raises all allies. Fire, Frost, and Storm def defenses. Team repair. Ooh. Heals all allies. Um, that's going to be bad, isn't it? Guillotine Fist. Deals physical damage to one foe and may instantly scrap them unless they're a boss. Hmm. I don't think. Oh, I don't know. I was saying I would like an another X attack. Hey, this game has great art, I see. It does have great art. You called the Discord mods fascist. I, I, I don't know, Kevbo. I don't know, buddy. You're making it real hard for me to, to, you know, not, not want to side with the mods on this one, to be honest. Like, you know, I, I don't, uh, I don't mean to alienate you or anything, of course, but I, I, I kind of probably would have banned you as well. No offense. <laughs> if I was the Discord or subreddit mods, that is to say, I, I would probably would assume the worst from someone who called the mods fascist. Why I got banned forever from Caves of... I mean, that's probably wise. Am I, am, am I 10? Um, <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to buy this uh, guillotine fist. Let's do it. Because I did want to have a X card. Because I have a lot of support and uh, steam generating cards, but not a lot of ways to spend them. And we can buy something. What do we want to buy? Accessories. Oh, we have new rings. Oh, these are defense rings. Uh, I don't think I care too much about defense right now. I guess it, it probably will matter, but eh, uh, bleh, I don't know. So, um, I'm thinking maybe we take out one of these. I don't know if we should take out mend. Mend, sh mend is important. I think I'll take out Ste uh, shields up. Throw the guillotine fist back in there. Month long wait to join the Discord and the Discord mods have long enough free time to cruise the subreddit and ban people. I mean, uh, how much free time do they have? How can I say that they have any free time? The, the, the Discord moderators are volunteers of their time to basically try and filter out a lot of uh, people. And I understand, it, you know, maybe being impatient to join the Discord, but, uh, you know, like you have, to, you have to understand, there's been a lot of people trying to basically bombard the Discord with anger, derision, uh, on, like, that Seth video really, it, it did not make a lot of friends, you know? It uh, stirred the pot to the nth degree and uh, bombarded the Discord with a lot of really annoying people. And I'm saying that lightly, like, just, you know, the Caves of Code community is, it's, it's one, it's, it's tightly knit in the sense that it is um, kind of a safe space. It's a safe space in, in the truest sense of the word. It's not a safe space for, for people who are, um, you know, going to spread malice or anger or hate. And uh, so they're, they're going to be trigger happy. And if, um, if someone says that, you know, one of the mods is being a fascist, then it's probably 
you know, it's it's uh, that's sign enough to like just like well we don't necessarily need to have someone like that. I, I'm just saying, like, you know, in a in a si situation when you're trying to filter out a lot of noise, you're looking for uh, signs of, of what a person's personality is. And uh, I don't think that that is, you know, using control or abusing control. I think that is trying to um, curate a space that is going to be, you know, friendly. Um, there's a, not really any easy way for me to talk about this without it sounding like I agree with the CUD moderators and uh, don't, you know, think that you're good for that space, Kevbo. Like, I, I, I don't really don't want it to se seem like I'm just stomping on you. I'm just, uh, you know, if, if we continue to talk about this, I will continue to probably agree with their decision. I'm sorry. I, I, in, in, in the interest of seeking some kind of peace here, um, I would, again, suggest maybe you contact them and, and try and have a heart to heart and uh, show them that you are uh, a positive person. And that would go a long way because they are actually pretty reasonable. I know some of the moderators, you know, personally, and they are, they're strict, but they're, they're good people. So, I don't know. Anyway, I think this is the the most political conversation. <laughs> I don't know. Besides, like maybe climate change. You guys want to talk about climate change? Hey, how about we talk about abortion? How about that one? Ninety percent of chat pass. Looks like the bricklayer took an extended lunch break. Staring into an unexpected abyss, our heroes measured the distance, stretched their legs, and prepared to... We're not going to jump. This is a regular campus safety measure. The groundskeeper's wandering eye, as it's called. Well, what is your message, Kev? Oh. Was it... Was it one that was, uh, extending peace? You asked too many questions about Q-Girl. That's another shortcut. 100%. I'll tell you why about that one, I'm at 10. Again, I'm not going to give you a hard time, but uh, again, that Seth video 100% stirred the pot on that. Uh, uh, like, basically, uh, threw a, a tin of gasoline on a fire for no good reason. Absolutely no reason, good reason. I understand that that video was meant to entertain, but it also was meant to be malicious. Like, 100%. It was just malicious. No need for that. I, I took a lot of lessons from that Seth video and learned very heavily and heartily what kind of YouTuber I did not want to be. So, uh, there, you, there you have it. <clears throat> I see, so the bridge is there, but only if you take the right measures. Well, it's in the name, really. We need to find the actual eye. I believe they keep it in the gate tower. Who is this actual nerd? Omega Theta Brat. Commoners. But the headmistress said our gate was unbreachable. Whoa there, first of all, what's with the snooty tone? And second, what do you mean by a headmistress? My lips are sealed, but taking care of you will most certainly get me on her good side, commoner. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, um, I can- I can see the chat is starting to turn on me. I- I'm going to, uh, actually start to uh, ignore this topic, unfortunately. Because I don't think that anything good will happen from that. I've said my piece, and, uh, you know, I, I think that, that I, I was fair.
Um, on a, a completely unrelated note, I think that um, eventually a conversation needs to be ha had about the fact that, you know, people are not going to get along on the internet. Just straight up. That's just never going to happen. Um, and I don't say that, like, you know, I'm not defeatist about that. I just think that's reality. And so I think that in certain cases, it is 100% fair, having understood and admitted the fact that we're not going to get along, that we should choose ahead of time who, what kind of people we are going to get along with. And at a certain point, that does mean, unfortunately, making concessions about uh, what you agree with. You can't agree with people on everything. It's impossible. Um, so you just have to kind of compromise occasionally and, you know, I've been in, I've definitely been in quite a lot of circumstances and situations in my life in which I had to compromise my own, uh, you know, compromise politically speaking, compromise morally speaking, ethically speaking, in order to maintain friendships with certain people. And, uh, sometimes I can do it and sometimes I can't. And I don't necessarily blame anyone for um, curating what kind of people that they're willing to spend time with. I don't, I don't blame them at all. And I mean, that goes for people on both sides, I guess. You know, people talk about how uh, it's not healthy to live in an echo chamber, but I think it's even less healthy to try and compromise with everyone i think that's a, a, impossible and i think that it does nothing for your own mental health and i think it does nothing to bridge any gap between people with a differing ethical and uh, political ideals i think it does nothing really uh and i also don't care to be a person who's trying to convert anyone morally politically or ethically speaking it's not my job and i don't know I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to make people or, or like kind of help people see any kind of reason or help them uh, understand my position in such a way that they are willing to acknowledge it. It's just not something I'm good at doing. So I just kind of have to exist. It's that's what I do. That was a sharp reminder of why I fell out of love with this place. Elitistic brats flooded campus, um, affected the mood, and smeared the school's reputation among... Well, I mean, this is pretty relevant, isn't it? Commoners. Villagers. I mean, yeah, I have thoughts, Kevbo, but I, I, at this point, I... No offense, I'm going to keep them to myself. It's just, it, I don't think it's productive. And I'd, I'd like to, you know, keep the peace. I, I hope you're, I hope we're cool, you know. Like, I I said my piece and I, I don't want to ne necessarily alienate you from uh, the stream. Maybe it's the key to that door we passed. That would seem not only possible, but po probable. The old Dean always boasted that he'd run things until pigs flew straight and stopped crashing into his petunias. So I'd really like to find out more about this new headmistress. Okay, let's uh, find what we need. Aye, aye, Captain. Ugh. I like how she f physically cringed. Okay, I need to, I feel like I need to switch, um, what's her name's special. I, I like the shield, but I'd, I'd rather be a bit more aggressive. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's doing me more good than I think.
the the only th thing about agreeing to disagree, I'm a ten, is that uh, sometimes you can find yourself in a situation where um, you disagree so strongly you can't agree to that. I, I've been in uh, in situations not to get I mean too personal, but where you know I'm put in a position where I have to literally tell someone not to make jokes about things that are so inappropriate that it just feels like common sense like a common sense situation if i have to explain to certain people that saying something is inappropriate or doing something is inappropriate uh it's it's like i don't know i just think that it, it doesn't really do anyone any good to you know agree to disagree that uh, implies a certain level of like diplomacy you know what i mean um and i don't think that diplomacy is is really worth doing if if you like that that that's only worth doing if you're if you know both parties benefit if only one party benefits and you are hurting yourself in order to maintain some kind of uh, relationship that doesn't benefit you then I don't think that that's worth doing so I mean yeah like agree to disagree but like also it's you know an echo chamber can actually be kind of nice <laughs> you know like I know that the echo chamber is a it's a point of derision it was like well you just you just want to hang out with people who agree with you I mean kind of like, when it comes to certain things that I don't really want to have to argue about, like, you know, human rights, uh, you know, when it comes to certain things like, like, really simple, basic moral questions, then, yeah, I don't really want to have to maintain a relationship with certain people. And I don't think that I should be made to feel guilty for that. You know what I mean? Like... I know this is getting super political now, but like, there's no getting around it. It's the internet. The internet is political. Can't can't escape it. It's it's all around us, especially right now. This is one of the most political times I think ever in in human history. Like, maybe that's a wild statement, but I feel like we we can't really escape it right now. And I think trying to escape it is part of the problem. That's as political as I'm going to get. That's going to be a big negative seven dollars. <laughs> no, my cheese. It's always the cheese. The cheese is the first to go. Pepperoni second, then the cheese. Um, let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, no, let's get rid of that. All right, perfect. Like, I'm okay disagreeing with people. You know, when it comes to video games, I think it's fine. I, I can disagree with, you know, like, oh, y you like, you like roguelites instead of roguelikes? Oh my god. Crucify him. Um, but like, when it comes to certain things, I'm like, eh. Maybe, maybe we don't have to do this, actually. Turn this damn cheese around. Golden Vond. What is that word, Neville? Golden Vond. I hope that's a good word. Genuinely enjoy arguments just for the sake of arguments. I don't, and I'll tell you why. Um, I've, I've, I don't know. Like again, I, I guess this is going to be the personal stream, which I, you know, we'll see how much people like the personal stream. Uh, me talking about uh, myself. You know, it's my stream. I can I can talk about myself if I want to. I've been in, in too many situations uh, where... What is this? Oh, there's a chest hidden behind there. Ooh. What is this? Oh, this is for... Uh, what's his name? Oki? Um, I've been in too many situations in which I have to argue something basic... Um, I, I get no ground and I just end up feeling bad. What do we have here? A navigator prism. Looks like the real deal, too. Many strange things with fancy names around here. This will be very useful. Now we can use the Wayfarer's gates. They're a sort of on-campus teleportation device. They look, a, they look a bit big. Sorry. 
They look a bit like big iron discs with engravings on them when activated. They light up. I believe I saw something similar a short while ago. Like, I just don't... I don't like arguing in general. I never end up feeling good about it. And generally, I'll say this. Maybe this is, like, a, you know, showing my colors in a, in a way. I don't like arguing because I generally find that people don't want to acknowledge the other person's position. Myself included, really. Like, you know, I, I always feel like uh, I'm trying to, like, argue my position on this and um, validate a certain idea or ideal, and it just doesn't go very well. I don't know how to put it, but, like, I guess what I'm saying is when, um, when I fail, ultimately, then I feel invalidated. Because that's, that's the general flavor of, of how an argument goes, right? Well, you believe this thing. I'm like, yeah, I believe this thing because of this and this and this reason. Um, and, you know, that I, I don't think I'm going to change on that. So, you know, maybe just respect that. No, I don't respect that because it doesn't make sense to me. I disagree. I'm like, okay, well, nothing has been gained here at all. And also, I just feel bad now. So, uh, goodbye. <laughs> A beat hand of Gilgamesh. Wow. You started the same time I did. I understand I'm only playing this game once a week, but dang. Uh, I think we're, we're about to get stomped. I believe the internet and the constant flow of information in this day and age is breaking us. I don't think that it's the internet that's breaking us. I think that, um, well, I don't know. I don't think the internet is breaking us. I think the way it's being used, maybe. I think that mostly it's very safe to blame most of the world's problems on big corps because they, they just generally don't help at all and they do everything they can to, um, you know, make the world a little bit worse uh, for a profit. That's, that's kind of my stance. You're welcome to disagree with me, but it doesn't matter <laughs> because we're still in this together <laughs> and it's not getting better. You know, like, uh, again, we're getting political, but there's not really anything I can do about it. Um, you know, when we talk about like what kind of ideas are shared online, uh, so, uh, you know, a, a corporation like Facebook does a lot to basically share all of the worst ideas um, with the worst people so that basically they do end up living in an echo chamber and they also get their um, ideas and their ethics and their morality validated. And when those ethics and morality include things like certain people uh, deserve rights and other people do not deserve rights, well then um, you certainly end up with a lot of really, I would say, objectively bad people having their awful morality and ethics justified and validated. Suddenly they have a position of power and a, a platform in which they can share those ideas. And suddenly the internet starts to feel like a really awful place. But actually it's not the internet. It's just big corporation ruining yet another good thing in this world. And hey, that's like super political. <laughs> Can't avoid it. Sorry. Maybe I'm just tired and melting and I can't filter out my own politics today. <laughs> um, all right. Well, two people are dead. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can't salvage this. I don't know if I even want to. This can't go wrong, right? Ooh, nice.
Yo, it's my rat's third birthday today. Are they having a midlife crisis? I uh, I used to have rats when I uh, grew grew up. They don't live long. This is the worst part about rats. I I like rats a lot. There. Oh, did I just heal the? No, I did. I don't think I did. Ideally, you learn uh, new info about the subject you're arguing about. That's uh, definitely ideal. What if you don't, though? Then that's not ideal anymore. We are processing so much that we can't handle it and we feel that we can try to solve all the world's, world's problems. I do think the internet can be a good thing, but people are uh, be people. Yeah, I mean, like... Any tool can be used for good and or evil, right? Well, almost any tool. <laughs> I have to be careful now. See? I think that, uh, you know, only a, only a Sith and or Jedi d uh, deal in absolutes. Oh my god, alright. Please don't heal the bad guy. Don't heal the bad guy. Yes, thank you. Weren't rats supposed to live like six years at least? That's very generous. If a rat lives for six years, that is a good rat. My, I had one rat that lasted, I believe, five. I think it was either five or six years. And that was a really good rat. I liked that rat a lot. Loved that rat. Miss him. He was a really smart rat. I had, I owned three rats, I believe. Um, and, I mean, two of them did not last very long. And one of them lasted. And they were the best one of the three, for sure. They were my favorite. Uh, this is not going well. I'm, I keep hoping maybe I'll get the guillotine and get a lucky kill. Solid. I get to do this without risk. Usually three to four years. I, uh, me and my parents at the time played with the idea of getting uh, ferrets because they're supposed to live a little bit longer. I say a little bit. Um, I think they're like seven to nine years maybe. Which is nice. But, um, you know, I have cats. And I like cats. Cats are nice. Cats live a long time. And, um, I think they cover a lot of the same ground as rats, for me, at least. Um, you know, they're cute. And, uh, they have personality. And, you know, rats have personality. Um, I also just think that rats... Or cats and, you know, like, they're, they're pretty easy to take care of. I mean, I have one that, uh, you know, Percy, I've, uh, w which is the one you've seen, is uh, the, the black gremlin child. Um, he, uh, he has, like, a really kind of, the, the worst thing about him is he has an annoying fur, which is both hard to groom and also gets everywhere. And it's a really insidious fur as well. Like, it just kind of clings to everything i know that you know a lot of fur does but this is this is different i've never had a cat's fur be so insidious in that it it just like i find it everywhere even on stuff that just came into the household it's like this is a brand new thing how is it that it has fur on it you know but um in exchange for that uh you know i don't have to walk him he takes care of himself uh, you know, he likes his space, and so do I. Alright, please don't, please don't heal the baddie. Please, oh, oh no! He's full health now! Cats are, aren't nearly as smart as rats, though. I don't know if I agree with that at all. Cats are pretty smart. I mean, cats and rats are both, uh, similar in that they vary. 
some cats are really stupid. They're like people like that, you know? Some cats are just not bright. Some rats are not bright either. Like, you know, I had a rat that would bite me constantly. And, you know, that, maybe, I don't know, you can, maybe you don't, you, can, you don't have to attribute that to smartness, but, uh, <laughs> I would. That's literally don't, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Oh god, I can't heal myself now. And he's gonna confuse me. Just in time. Yep. This is really not going well. Can we... Do we have anything we can use? I don't want to use a revive kit. I'll use a repair vial. I, I have a few of those. Actually, can we use like three of those? Sure. I just want to like do this and then uh, go back and save. Cats aren't dumb. They're not like a chihuahua. I mean, rats are smart in a different way, right? Like, you know, I had a rat that would go and fetch paper and bring it back to its cage. And I thought that was just like the coolest thing. That rat was so smart, but like also, um, you know, I had a, a cat that would come and like sit down and uh, like next to me and um, you know, Oh, that you know, I had a cat that would hug me, like genuinely hug me, which was kind of nice. I know that's again, that's affection, but um, my parents had a cat that uh, was really smart, would like outsmart other cats, also just like was respectful of space, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like they would they would make sure that. If my parents were walking down a hall, they weren't taking up space in the hall. Some cats do that, some some cats don't. Um, I've had a few cats that were smart enough not to walk on my keyboards. Percy's not, though. Rat steals my bills and does my taxes for me. Yo, pogger rat right there. This combat is really going on, isn't it? I just keep hoping that guillotine ends it. I, I, I actually pressed the button there to re redo the thing, but it didn't work. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather just wait until I have like three things I can do. Nope. This is, this is the worst. <sighs> okay. All right, we'll do a mend. That's at least two things they can do. Do you, do you did you swap out Copernicus and Galio's move sets to do damage to fire-based uh, enemies? I did not. I think uh, part of the issue is that I don't know what kind of enemies I'm going to be fighting until I'm fighting them. There's no real way to know until it's too late. I can do this. I don't think this will do any harm if it does it to the enemy. Okay, we did it to ourselves. Very RPG I have problems with mainly how characters block attacks and how it's easy to get status ailments. Are you talking about the original Mary RPG? I, uh, there's a there's a site I've been like meaning to look at that lets you find a group more easily for doing like D and D and stuff. But honestly, I have like a lot of social stuff in my life right now. Like I I'm pretty good. Almost every day I have assigned to hanging out with a certain friend, which is which is nice. Um, so you know, this is really a bummer. 
I, I think I'm good. I'd like to play. I'd certainly like to, you know, get some, some gaming in, but I just don't think that it's uh, necessarily necessary for me. I don't know. It's just like something I kind of think about doing occasionally. Yeah, it would be nice to play in a D&D game. This combat is really dumb. <laughs> I know I didn't do it exactly well, and I could also just recover my other friends, but I really don't want to waste it. I would almost just rather die. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. I'm not gonna heal. <sighs> what do you think? There's no way this can backfire, right? Nice. We're almost dead. Let's use an abs of steel and we'll also use some more recovery items. I'd rather use these recovery items because they're like really not super good. And I have a ton of them. I understand this is probably annoying. That how I'm doing this specific combat. I understand that. I will have to switch up my uh, cards and then you know after we're done here. This is this is really dumb. I won't tell him that he can run away from this fight. No one mentioned that Big can run away from the fight. You know what? I did forget that I can run away from the fight. Still not gonna. I'm not gonna. Because I keep hoping this is gonna insta-kill this guy. Insta-kill. Come on. <laughs> Um, at least I'm not confused right now. He's about to confuse me for sure, but nope, never mind. You're big enough simple to admit that you forgot you can run, and I respect for you that I, I've de like. I I will say I don't I don't super love the interface in this game. Because, like, certain things like that would be really obvious in a lot of other games, but the fact that there's an extra button here that I have to press really kind of nails home for me that this game was made for consoles and not for PC. Or really, honestly, like, I don't understand why that's not just, like, an extra button. Like, an extra card that just is always available would be a way easier way to do that. Or even the consumables, like I could have a second hand or something. Like, um, I, uh, you know, I like the mechanics in this game fine. I love, you know, I like them a lot. But the interface, I, I'm not super huge, huge on. It's a little bit unnecessarily cumbersome. <clears throat> this fire dude is hard to kill. He's just hard to kill when I only have one dude and refuse to, uh, do anything about this. And also, I keep using up my steam to heal myself. If I had an, any steam um, saved up for the guillotine, it would do way more damage. I tried fighting the cabin boy and angry birds epic. Hey, I saw something on uh, steam the other day. <clears throat> There's a game called Crash the Castle. I don't know if you, any of you, any of y'all have heard of it, but um, I can't say definitively that Angry Birds was ripped off of it. 
but I can say definitively that it came first before Angry Birds, and it, I would say that it is a much better game. That's my hot take. I, th I think that Angry Birds is fine. I think that Crash the Castle was a much more fun game. Um, something about it mechanically I thought was just more interesting and compelling. Um, but instead of doing the whole catapult thing, you have a trebuchet, and you basically uh, hit a button to start the launch, and then you hit a button again to release the ball, and there's something really satisfying about the physics of it. But anyway, the full collection is on Steam, I noticed. And uh, I, might, uh, I might pick it up and maybe feature it on stream at some point. Oh, okay. Time to, time to heal a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm hitting tab. There ain't a game called Crash the Castle. Is there not? Let me check. Maybe I have the name wrong. Crash the castle. Oh, you're right. Um, okay, what is it called? Castle. Well, it's in my wish list. Maybe I will find it. I wish uh, there was a way to filter by date. Oh, date added. Perfect. All right. It's called Crush the Castle. Crush the Castle. Not Crash the Castle. Crush the Castle. You gotta, you gotta admit, I am determined, aren't I? Ugh. I hate that. I hate that move so much. Abs of steel. Yes. Okay, give me the guillotine. And we should be good. Dragonfall third segment? Um, sure. I was I was gonna ask uh, I was gonna throw throw it up in the air as to whether or not we wanted to do something like Dragonfall and I do have the Unity one installed now and I and it works it was actually pretty easy to install uh, or maybe like Terraria um, or like something else I had a couple of other ideas in mind but I, I'm I'm cool with that I'm cool with uh, Dragonfall I know that it's something that y'all want. Uh. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay, well, we're gonna have to use another th th thingamabob. Here's a question. Do you think, chat, that, uh, I didn't, I didn't switch any cards that turn. That's not good. Um, do you think that you should gain any steam from using consumables. I can't heal now because then I'll heal him. Is he gonna- he's not about to kill me, is he? No. <sighs> okay, I guess we're using another consumable. Just one should do it. At least the consumables can be used without fear. I just- I just need that guillotine. Just one more guillotine would do it. Stop this. Make it end. Make it end. Make it end. Oh my god! Alright, one, one heal. Oh my god, please. <laughs> please. I just... I just want to move on. This combat has taken so long. Please. Please. Just give me the stupid guillotine card. There it is, go. 
Done. Done. That was awful. That was the worst. Oh my god. Is there no way to get back to the save point? Another hidden chest. What? 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 What is happening here? I didn't get anything. Weird. Smolder lowers all foes fire defense by one grade for three turns. Interesting. Why would I use this over the one that I already have? Question. Like this one lowers their fire defense. Why would I use, oh, I guess, and this one also uses one, uh, requires one steam. This one only lowers their fire defense. Oh, lowers all foes, that's why. That's the main difference. Okay, that's worth it. Let's take that out and then put this in. And uh, I'm cool with that. That's actually pretty nice. Um, we have new cards. Magic Mirror counters elemental attacks done to Copernica. That could be nice. It's also free. So let's uh, maybe take out Focus and put in Magic Mirror. And then um, let's do some stuff. We, we need to we need to fix uh, our lad here. It hit it hits 100. It actually goes to triple digits. I just find some game named Shadowrun Dragonfall it doesn't look like Minecraft. What? Um, does Big actually have a game called Dragonfall, or is it he misremembered? Dragonfall or Daggerfall? Whoops. Bot Games deserves Daggerfall stream. Also, I might recommend that Starfetchers game for third segment also. I'd be willing to do that. Uh, Dragonfall is the new Minecraft. What is Dragonfall? Tell me about Dragonfall. I think Big is gonna win before he hits 99+. plus. Repeatedly losing to the Axum Rangers in Mario RPG. Yo, the Axum Rangers do not mess around. I love I love that game so much. That is actually like my favorite RPG of all time, by the way. So for some, Final Fantasy VII or a Chrono Trigger. For me, Mario RPG all the way. Uh, I just find some game named Shadowrun Dragonfall. It doesn't look like Minecraft. He forgot the door. What do you mean the door? What door? When did the furry- what? I vote Daggerfall for fellow Simp Squatter bot plays who ask for it every stream, and I also suggest Starfetchers for myself. Okay. We could maybe even do both of those things. Um, maybe, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of what to swap out here. I don't know if G Gigatine Punch is really going to do it for me. I think I'm also gonna take out Abs of Steel. I think instead I'll put in a blind side. Put back the shields up. Um, wouldn't, I guess poison would be okay. Super Soaker would be good. Deals frost damage to one foe and lowers their frost and storm defenses. This isn't great, honestly. It doesn't really do much for us. I'm sure that the Super Soaker is strong against these fire types, but I don't think it's actually going to be that useful. It doesn't really synergize, I guess, is my main concern. I, I think I'd rather take Blindside, uh, just another Blindside. Just a little too hard for me sometimes. I should do a Mario RPG stream at some point. Blindside and Poison Argalia. Yeah, I remember you saying that Poison's good against a boss. Um, I don't know if I, I'm going to be fighting any bosses anytime soon. Also, I have to be mindful of the fact that the, it doesn't generate steam. Keep editing. Oh, I see. We're, we have too many. Um, let's take out one Miracle Worker. Okay. Um, so I think what we, there, our current setup for 
Copernica is okay, except for the fact that we're doing a lot of fire damage right now. I'm assuming that's not going to do much damage to fire types. So maybe I ought to switch to uh, ice. But I only have the one ice, so we could take out one fire pillar. And I guess I could turn, take out flame wave and put in another creeping cold. So this isn't a very good hand, but it'll be for the purposes of the um, next bit. So here's the eye. Man, the controls. This must be the um, uh, ground keeper's wandering eye. Heck of an eye to wander off like that, poor bastard. This is just what we need to activate the bridge. I like that this game gives EPX to heroes who have fallen in battle. Yeah, that is nice. That's a, it's kind of brutal when that doesn't happen. I told my story about like my first D&D &D experience in which I, uh, I, I basically fell, I was dying, um, and I was like, oh, that sucks, I'm not gonna get any XP, because I died, and they were like, no, you get, like, a, you level up and everything, oh, wow. Give faith to what is unseen as you would to what one can touch and look at. Fire damage against fire types is a big no-no, lightning and ice. That was actually pretty cool. After having used the yucky old eye from the tower, our heroes raced over the bridge. After having endured one of the most tiresome battles of all time, Big Simple swigs from his microwave iced coffee. I, I actually missed stuff. That was an act done. It's only been an hour, but... Goodbye. Goodbye for another week, Hand of Gilgamesh. Sorry, I'm sorry uh, those who look forward to the Hand of Gilgamesh portion, um, but I kind of want to get on to other things.